Hi folks. Today I'm going to go over my latest Arduino embedded application. Uh, what you're looking at here is my TFT screen, 2.8 inch TFT, uh, basically an animation machine, and it's driving a uh, 8 by 8 LED matrix. Uh, so I'm going to go over the operation of this little unit, and uh, then I'm going to go over the code and some uh, programming concepts and after that I will give you a demonstration of uh, creating some animations and uh, some of the ones that I've actually created. Now, this little unit will allow you to uh, playback animations obviously you're watching uh, one of my little animations here and uh, you can store them to the SD card you can store up to 10 files which is basically 10 different scenes or 10 different animations and uh, pull them up and play them as you wish. I'll give you a little demonstration of how all that works. So what you've got here is this little 8x8 grid and uh, this is just basically the uh, same as the <clears throat> TFT paint uh, color picker. So I started with that application and modified it uh, to do what I want. Created this little grid and hopefully as you can see it's uh, it's turning on the LEDs as I press on these buttons and you could use your finger or you could just hold this thing down and you pick a different color and you've only got uh, six colors really to work with uh, with this particular setup uh, I might do a pulse width modulation setup at some point where you could have all sorts of different shades of colors however for uh, this application this this works fine if you get too many colors in there it gets really you know, get complicated but it's doable Anyways, I'm just going to give you a little demonstration of how this thing works. Anyways, you can see how it uh, is controlling the LED matrix over here. And now I'll go back and uh, play one of my files. But first I'm going to reduce the number of loops so we don't have to wait forever. Uh, one of the things this thing doesn't have is a breakout function. So when you're playing a loop, there's no way to break out of it. You kind of have to let it finish its job and then you're done. So if you want to enhance this application that might be one thing you could do. Something I want to do but uh, maybe for a version 2. So now I'm going to show you a couple different features. Uh, here's the little file manager. You open that up. You can choose between 10 different files. Let's see I'll choose a different file here. Uh, my largest one which has 65 frames. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> sensitive there and we'll play this one back. It basically spells out the alphabet and some numbers. You'll see towards the end here I forgot to put the W in so I kind of flashed it on the screen a few times. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you tried to store this many frames or uh, basically arrays all this data, each one of these frames is about 64 characters. It's 64 characters you tried to store all that in your code, you would quickly run into memory problems. Uh, it just wouldn't work. I tried it at one time. You could not get the entire alphabet in there. Uh, this allows you to store as many frames as you want, really. Puts it on the SD card and reads them out. Uh, <clears throat> plays them one by one. Fills the array with uh, each frame. Dumps it and fills it again and displays it as it goes. Uh, keeping the memory down. So it's just another little animation. I'll do uh, one more here. Let's see. Let's try this guy. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, little figure guy. Anyways, uh, you don't have to have an 8x8 matrix uh, to run this. You can do this as a standalone application. You can unplug the LED matrix and take this thing and uh, create animations and playing back uh, as much as you want. Uh, you can control the speed of it by increasing or decreasing the delay. So I'm going to increase the delay just to give you an idea of uh, what I'm talking about. And it's going to play this guy back a little bit more slowly, frame by frame. And you can create all sorts of different uh, animations with this thing. I mean, it's it's <clears throat> basically the creativity is unlimited. You, uh, you I mean you've only got the 64 um, pixels, so to speak, to work with. 
you know, decrease the delay and show you just how fast this thing can go. It'll go so fast that uh, you can barely see it on the 8x8, but it, it still plays back pretty good on the TFT at uh, the highest speed. So let's see here, let's get this thing way down there to no delay at all. Alright, let's try it now. Much faster. Let's throw another loop in there. We'll play it twice. And hopefully that gives you an idea of how this thing works. And uh, now <clears throat> open a, a blank one real quick to show you how easy it is to create an animation. Pick the color and uh, just start drawing. You draw whatever you want. And when you're happy with whatever you got, you just save it. Gives you a little flash to indicate that the frame has been saved. And you can add to it if you want right now. Create another frame. And save it. Oh no. There you go. And play it back. Doom doom doom. Whoopee, huh? more loops in there. Moves it back real fast. Let's increase the delay a little bit anyways. Make it a little more visible. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and add another frame to it. Just for fun. Anyways, hopefully that gives you an idea of just how this thing works. It's kind of neat. Uh, I've been playing around with it and refining it and finally got it to a place where I'm ready to share it with everybody. Save another frame in there. Play it all back. Explain the loops over and over. And now I'll show you uh, if you want to delete this. It, right now it's, it's got this current file open. If you want to delete it or clear all the uh, information in it, you just hit this little red button, delete. Pops up a little confirmation window, so you don't accidentally delete things. You can say, no, I don't want to delete it. I'm going to play it back one more time. Yeah, yeah, this is nothing special. I'm going to delete this. So, confirm it, and now it's gone. Try to play it back, and you get nothing. So, hopefully that uh, gives you a little idea of a how this uh, animation engine works. It drives an 8x8. Uh, uh, I've got instructions on how to build this 8x8 matrix, this LED matrix. Um, and the reason you might want to do that is because uh, this TFT uh, takes up all a lot of uh, pins on your Arduino. In fact, I had to use a Mega just to be able to connect uh, the 8x8 LED matrix. Uh, and, and drive it with the uh, Uno over here, which you can see. Um, this TFT covers up pretty much everything. You can't you can't plug anything else into it, which is okay if you just want to use this as a standalone animation generator without the uh, LED matrix. But if you want the LED matrix, you're going to have to have a Mega or something with more uh, pinouts. And uh, there you go. Um, and now I'll uh, go on to uh, show you guys the source code, the sketch, and some of the concepts involved there. And you can, uh, there's also a link there to uh, download the source code from GitHub. Thanks. So here's a little message I created you could uh, <laughs> display. Um, say if you're driving down the road or something like that, uh, you could, if you have a long enough cord, you could put the 8x8 in your uh, rear window there and display some polite messages to people behind you. Now, you could do with that what you will. I do not uh, claim any responsibility for what you guys do with those things.